Hi guys, so we're back again with another Friday the 13th movie review and this is an interesting one, it's Friday the 13th A New Beginning. So to me, this is the Halloween 3 season of The Witch of the Friday the 13th movies and what I mean by that is it seems like from the events of Friday the 13th part 4, the final chapter the creators didn't really know what to do with the Jason character and they wanted to bring out another Jason movie within another year so in the meantime it's as if they've just said let's just make another person the killer in the meantime till we figure out what to do with the Tommy character and the Jason character. Now what I really hated about this movie was the first the, the first movie, the second movie, the third and the fourth movie, they were all improving in a way. Uh, I'm not saying the first one was the worst one, but from one to four they improved in other things. They proved, improved in a lot of things. They improved on the character Jason, they improved on the character development and the acting, and the actors that they got in the roles. This movie it took a major step back. They brought back these generic characters again that nobody cared about, and in fact I hated every single character in this film. Even Demon, I hated him as well. Now a lot of people automatically assume that we hate this movie because Jason wasn't the official killer in it. For me that's not the case. The reason I don't like this movie as much as the other ones is like I said the character development. The setting for the film just didn't feel right. It was too sunny. It just felt wrong. Uh, and if you top that off with Roy being the killer instead of Jason, yeah that did have a bit of a factor in it. I would say that the only redeeming factor about this film was we do see Jason in it at the beginning and the very end for a small period to that as the real Jason that we see either end of the film. Now the reason I didn't hate Roy being the killer in this film is because it is very similar to Friday the 13th. The first one, Pamela Voorhees was the killer in this one. She had her son, was her son was killed and she took revenge at anybody around her, uh, around Camp Crystal Lake. Roy's motives were very similar. His son was killed at this mental home. So what he decided to do was kill people in and around this mental home. So I don't see the issue with Roy being the killer compared to the issues with Pamela Voorhees being the killer because if you want to be honest with yourself, back in 1985, all the creators had to say to us at the time was, well, Roy was a killer because did you not see the final chapter? Jason's dead. And then again other people might ask, well why not make Tommy the killer? And that's a good question because that was another thing that annoyed me. Why wasn't Tommy the killer in this one? In this, he was just in the mental home. He was some sort of karate expert as well. It looks like he was maybe trying to defend himself from, I don't know, maybe he thinks that Jason's coming back. But it would make sense if they made Tommy the killer in this one. And this is where I think that maybe Friday the, th uh, sorry, this is where I think maybe Halloween is copying Friday the 13th. It is a bit of an issue because in Halloween it looked like Jamie was going to be the new Michael Myers in Halloween 4 to Halloween 5. They chickened out, they didn't do that and I think the same happened in Friday the 13th with part 4. They chickened out and didn't make Tommy the killer in part 5. And then we'll discuss part 6 again because Tommy is in part 6. Uh, but I just think they kind of chickened out with the Tommy character. The funny thing is as well, when I watched this film again uh, today, it was obvious that Roy was the killer. I don't know if that's because we knew that Roy was the killer, but every time we see him on screen, he always had that look in his eye. And he, he said something to the, the sheriff as well that made us think, well, are they trying to make us think that he's the killer? Because if they do make us think that, then yeah, we will think that he is the killer. Overall, guys, it wasn't a great installment to the fight of the 13th franchise. And I think that is because of how good the final chapter was and obviously the whole Roy Tommy situation uh, and I just think that they ran out of ideas and they just made this random paramedic the killer but like I said that's not the main reason I hated this movie Roy was okay as the killer and the kills that he'd done in the film were very reminiscent of Jason's character so we can forgive them for that I think it was just a poorly made movie with poor character development and poor actors so what do you think of this movie guys did you not like it because of the whole Jason issue? Or was it similar to what I said, the way the film was made, etc, etc? Leave the comments down below what you think. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching again. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.